Hello everyone. Jesus reveals who the true God is to us. And if we just stop and think a little bit, it isn't very hard to understand who the true God is. When we start to ask ourselves who Jesus God was and who Jesus God is. The scriptures in many places talk about Jesus God, the God of Jesus. Well, who is this God of Jesus? Do you think Jesus God might have been a three person being? When Jesus was 20 years old and he was hanging out with his brothers, and perhaps they were at the synagogue or at the temple or something like that. Do you ever think, do you think they ever had any notion of a three person God? These Jews born under the law. And when they said the words from Deuteronomy 6 4, Jesus and his brothers together, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Do you think any of them had any notion of a three-person God? When you really start to think about it, you start to realize how really ridiculous that would be. Jesus God is, is quite clear in the scriptures. Who his God is is quite clear. His God was his Father alone, period. And he also indicates that's a, that the Father is our God. It's quite clear. Do you suppose maybe Jesus and Peter sat around one day under a tree discussing a three-person being? You know, how God is three persons, yet one being? When you start to just even think about it, you start to realize how ridiculous it is. Jesus reveals who the one God is. It's his God. His God was not a three-person being. His God was not the Holy Spirit. You know, like a, an extra third person. His God was his Father. Period. Very simple, isn't it? If you just understand who Jesus God is, we understand who the one God is. Because if you have a different God than Jesus, you have a different God. It's not the God of Israel. It's not Jesus, the Jews, God. Is it? A one-person being is not a three-person being. Jesus God was a one-person being, his Father alone. And there's no escaping that. There's no escaping that. And if your God is a three-person being, and Jesus' God was a one-person being, you have a different God on your hands. And you can jump up and down and scream all day long that you have the same God, but it's not going to be the same. You can lay awake all night trying to make this the same, and it's not going to be the same. His God was his Father alone. Your God isn't, if you believe in a three-person being. Your God is not the Father alone. Except in certain occasions when you need it to be. Like 1 Corinthians 8, 6, or verses which talk about the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ just in certain occasions and then you go back to your three person God Jesus did reveal to us who the one God is didn't he it's the one God he worshipped and served who is that three person being I don't think so. His Father alone. 
the God that he worshipped and served, that God, that's the true God, isn't it? And when you identify that God, the God of Jesus, you start to realize who the one God is and who the one God is not. You can't have a different God than Jesus and be a disciple of Jesus. It's crazy. It's insanity. As Paul says, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Okay, who is Christ in you? Worshipping and serving as his God. He has a God. He had a God. He still has a God. Who is it? If Christ is truly in you, who is his God? Paul talks about, you know, the spirit of God's Son in our hearts, which cries, Abba, Father. Okay. The spirit of God's Son in our heart testifies that God is who? God's Son worshipped who? As his one God? His Father alone. Very simple. Very simple. There's reasons that people don't want to accept this. One of the biggest reasons is, is they want to absolve themselves of walking as Jesus walked. And so they dip into this deception. Another reason is, is, you know, they got some verses in the Bible. And they go, I don't know what to do with this unless I make up this three-person God. Well, you don't just go around making up another God to satisfy your interpretation problems. It's nuts. God is the main character of the Bible, mentioned thousands and thousands and thousands of times. And there's not one single mention of a three-person being there. Not one. To think a three-person God exists, but it's not mentioned in the Bible, is crazy. It's crazy. God is the main character of the Bible, mentioned thousands of times, and you can't find one single mention of this three-person God. And so you have to take preconceived notions from your doctrine and read them back into the Bible to make that work. That's even crazier. That's making the Bible say whatever you want it to say. Matthew 28, 19 doesn't say anything about a three-person God. Counting one, two, three doesn't amount to a three-person God. Jesus revealed who the one God is. It's the God he worshipped and served. That one. That's his one God. That's it. Very simple. Serve only the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.